I'm Richard Poyam. I'm here to talk about the Connected Traveler application. Um, and the exciting thing about the Connected Traveler, the whole context of it is we wanted to show showcase the power of the Open API platform uh, on top of airline APIs and air, airline assets, uh, combined with the Open API platform over the top of service provider assets for things like SMS and location. So if you combine those two sets of APIs together in a mashed up application that could be built very quickly with access to those APIs, you effectively create a, a next generation set of applications like the Connected Traveler, which I'm going to walk through right now. Uh, so here's the basic context. Uh, you have a, a, well, a Connected Traveler application. We'll go to my trips. Now one of the things that an airline often wants to understand very quickly is they want survey data back from their travelers. They want to understand right after you get off the airplane or when you land and turn your phone on, how, how great or how bad was your trip? Because today the way airlines operate their customer service surveys is they send emails. So you'll three weeks after your trip, you'll get an email in the mail, two pages long. Nobody wants to answer a, an airline email from a flight they took three weeks ago. So the beauty of this model is, with presence from the carrier, when they turn that phone on, the airline could actually serve through an application like this a quick survey, a quick, how was it, good or bad, you know, one to five. Uh, they get instant feedback right after the context of the trip, and that provides them a lot better information in their CRM application to then respond quickly through a call center application, feeding back through a Genesis API, for example, and setting up a, a follow-up, especially for their platinum members. So I'll demonstrate. This is a scenario where the airline, through an API call, is actually going to provide 500 miles to a traveler for taking this survey from their previous trip. So I'm going to click on that as a traveler. I want to get my 500 miles for this. And on the trip from New York to Paris, I can check poor, okay, or great on my trip. Very simple. My schedule, in my perspective of the world, was that where I was I early, was I on time or late? And the power of that is that could provide the airline all kinds of data. For example, in the morning, the Dallas airport is really getting high reviews. It's getting a lot of great responses. And I notice a real a tick off uh, at 7 o'clock at night. If I see that from a lot of my platinum travelers in a certain airport or a location, I can then address that issue. Maybe I want to provide more staff to help the travelers. I want to provide some concierge resources. And it just the instant information feedback into the CRM API uh, is tremendously valuable for the airline. So now let's go back over to the core application. So now we're going to go to my friends and a, and a demonstration of location-based services and offers. So, here is where we are. We're in Spain. We're at the Mobile World Congress uh, uh, FIRA, which is right here. That's me in the blue. Now I'm just going to look around through uh, my address book, or it could be a LinkedIn API that feeds this. I'm going to click here and I'm going to see Mike Maney, everyone's favorite guy. And Mike Maney, for example, right off this application, I can use API calls to SMS or call him directly from the application. That's just feeding right back through the service router APIs. Uh, tremendously valuable. If we think about people, consultants together on a work trip uh, or just knowing where your friends are in proportion to a geofence that you, with, in which you're, you're actually currently operating in the city. Uh, great, great, actually useful scenario. Now, if we click on offers, now what happens is I'm seeing every local retail shop every restaurant and every bar that is provide using the loyalty API that's currently a partner of the airline to provide special offers and coupons to me that are relevant to my profile. And that's very powerful because the difference between something like this, like an airline doing this, or through using an airline loyalty API and a Foursquare, is the fact that the airline has a, a, an immense database of your travel history. They know exactly where you're flying. They know that you're flying alone or on a romantic trip or you're traveling with a party of four. They know if it's a, des a leisure destination, a business destination. They have a lot of information about you in that record that could be exposed through the API on some level so that the offers can be tailored. So if I'm on a business trip as a 1K member, for example, on, on a United flight, I will actually get, I don't want to get, uh, uh, you know, Disney World coupons. I'd rather, in Paris, I'd rather have, you know, business uh, limo services or uh, a specific, you know, a nice uh, restaurant, French restaurant to get a coupon for those kinds of things. And as a user, I'm getting contextual advertising, contextual services, pulling through the API partners that the loyalty program has. So if I go into this application right here, I just clicked on that restaurant near me, and they're offering 100 miles and two extra pizza toppings. So I'm going to click on that offer, 
And what's going to happen is it's going to generate a 2D barcode for me to go right to the restaurant and serve this. Okay? So I'm going to show you actually on this application that we, that we partnered with Codalink on this. If I come up to this application, wave it in front of the camera, it will immediately capture the 2D barcode. It will check the application and immediately take miles from the API from the airline and deposit it into my personal account. Now the benefit of that is the airline still sells the miles, but the, today the restaurant can't just go buy a block of miles and move it. The airline has to actually, I mean, excuse me, the restaurant has to now provide contextual content. So earlier all they could do is get in, a, in an email newsletter. With this application and with the, with the APIs from the, from the loyalty program, they can actually extract the miles when the coupon is issued and immediately put it into the, into the account, which reduces the risk for the restaurant, reduces the risk for the airline, uh, and, and enhances the traveler experience. Because now I'm getting location-based, contextual, uh, uh, local special offers. So that's it. That's basically the power of the connected traveler application using APIs from the network, from the airlines, and it's just really the tipping point of, of what can actually be done. Thanks, Richard.